want to share with you a reading from the book of Genesis. It is called the story of creation. From the beginning, when God created the universe, the earth was formless and desolate. The raging ocean that covered everything was engulfed in total darkness. And the Spirit of God was moving over the water. Then God commanded, let there be light. And light appeared. And God was pleased with what he saw. And then God separated the light from the darkness. And he named the light day and the darkness night. Evening passed and morning came. That was the first day. I want to fast forward you to the fifth day of creation. On that day, God commanded. He said, let the waters be filled with many kinds of living beings. And let the air be filled with, with birds. And so God created the great sea monsters. And all kinds of creatures that live in the water. And all kinds of birds. And God was pleased with what he saw. He blessed them all and told the creatures that live in the water to reproduce and to fill the sea. And he told the birds to increase in number. Evening passed and morning came. That was the fifth day. Then God commanded, let the earth produce all kinds of animal life, domestic and wild, large and small. And it was done. And so God made them all. And he was pleased with what he saw. That was the sixth day. I share that story of creation with you because I find it amazing that the animals were in the mind of God before we were. It's almost like on the seventh day, we were created as an afterthought to God already creating the birds of the sky and the fish of the sea. That from the very beginning of creation, animals had a specific purpose in bringing the creative presence of God into our lives. You know, to be able to share that presence of God with one another is one of the reasons why I'm sure God created these beautiful animals like Thor. You know, I was reading this morning about a veterinarian who wrote an article about one little boy's acceptance of his dog's passing. And after having to euthanize his pet, the little boy seemed unusually calm, particularly when the conversation turned to why dogs' lives are so short in comparison with those of human beings. And the little boy said he knew why. He said, people are born so that they can learn how to live a good life. So he said, like loving everybody and being nice all the time. And he went on to say, well, dogs already know how to do that. And so they don't have to stay with us so long. Thor was born on April 26, 2013. And as you know, he was called back to God on November 22nd of 2016. I really believe, like the movie, that all dogs go to heaven. But I would even include that every living creature created by God will return to God. You know, our Pope Francis tells us that animals will join humans in the kingdom of heaven. He tells us that eternal life will be a shared experience of law in which every creature resplendently transfigured will take its rightful place and have something to give those poor men and women who will have been liberated once and for all. Our Pope Francis tells us, and he helps us to finally laid to rest the age-old question of whether or not pets go to heaven. By immortalizing the words of Pope Francis, he leaves no room for misunderstanding or hearsay. Dogs and other creature companions 
will join us in the kingdom of heaven. You know, in our Roman Catholic Church, at the end of every liturgy of Christian burial, we say this prayer. And I want to close with this prayer today. May Thor's soul and the souls of all the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. Today, through formal ceremony and prayer, we say thank you to God for the time that God allowed Thor to spend his life with all of you and for the time that God allowed each one of us to spend our lives with him as well. All attendees that are standing, please be seated. The Chief of the Weathersfield Police Department, Chief James Citrain. she had been kidnapped and, and being held against her will at the, one of the motels on the Silasian Highway. Two officers responded. Um, when they got there, they saw a person walking across the courtyard and <coughs> attempted to speak to that individual to see if that individual had any involvement in this um, kidnapping. When they approached him, he took off running, which was their first clue that there was something wrong, and they chased him. Chased him across the street behind a large apartment building into a wooded area. Uh, Officer Martins, the K-9 Thor, responded, actually took up uh, a track on that individual and actually found that individual. The individual jumped up and started to run. Thor got hung up in the brambles that was there and actually um, um, the handler lost sight of the canine, which was not um, to his liking to say the least. Um, a couple of 20 minutes later or so, we got a report that there was an individual who matched the description, seen um, half a mile, three quarters of a mile away, but there was no dog. The witness did not see the dog. So we knew something was wrong because that dog never would have stopped, never would have given up. And we started searching for her. The fire department came out with their lights because it had gotten dark. Many individuals volunteered to help look. And it was a state police trooper that actually found our canine lying on its side. Um, he was hurt. We knew he was hurt. He was carried out of the woods and brought to a, an animal hospital where he was diagnosed with multiple cuts, but also internal bleeding. They treated K94 with a, a blood transfusion and he responded well. He came back uh, almost, almost being like normal again. When uh, Officer Martins was called back, responded to the animal hospital, Thor uh, got up to see his handler and uh, collapsed. According to the veterinarian, he was probably dead before he hit the floor. 
because of a brain, I'm um, sorry, a blood in, uh, ambulance blood clot. You never, you never know when something like that is going to happen. It's tragically happened to our canines. Our officers saw, obtained their warrant, saw the individual that was the suspect that was being chased, and uh, spent a considerable amount of time looking for that individual. Uh, Harvard officer, we had gotten word where that individual was, our, responded to that location, and found the individual hiding in a dumpster underneath the garbage. Anyways, uh, he, he has been arrested. Our state's attorney is now looking into what we can charge him with. Um, and uh, we'll, it's proceeding from there. I, I, don't, I, I really don't know what to say. It's just the circumstances here are horrible. It's just it's terrible what, what has happened. We've never lost a canine before uh, in the line of duty. It's affected everybody on the department and, and our neighbors and friends and, and other canine officers who are on the state that are trained with Officer Martins and, and Gore. Uh, my, what I'd like to do is introduce um, Representative, State Representative Russ Warren, who has a plaque a proclamation from the state to give to uh, Officer Marks, if you could come up here. Uh, John Pumper in the Senate from the 1st District and Representative Guerrero from the 29th. And uh, what a testimony to the brotherhood of law enforcement to see all of the folks that are here today and uh, family is what comes to mind. We, we often see um, the loyalty and the camaraderie, but this really is remarkable and it's touching uh, to see the support that we're offering to our fallen uh, comrade and, and to the hammer at uh, Weathersfield is, is blessed to have, I guess what Senator Doyle and I would agree and, and uh, Councilman Hurley and Martino would say the best police department the state we're proud to say that no offense to any of the other folks here but that's how we feel and I have a citation it's from the General Assembly and it's in memoriam and it reads be it hereby known to all that the Connecticut General Assembly extends its sincerest condolences and expressions of sympathy to the Weathersfield Police Department on the passing of police canine Thor Thor began a career in public safety with the Weathersfield Police Department on August 20th of 2014. He bravely and proudly served our town until his untimely death. Throughout his tenure, Thor made critical findings that assisted law enforcement. Our community will be forever impacted by Thor's courage and selfless nature. Mr. Martins may find comfort and memories during this incredibly difficult time. He was introduced by myself. Again, Senator Doyle, Representative Guerrero, Senator Von Ferrer, given the safe day of December 2016. Uh, it's signed by Martin Looney, pr President Pro Temp of the Senate, uh, Brendan Sharpie, Speaker of the House, and the <coughs> Merrill Secretary of State, and to all in the Weatherspoon Police Department. I know speaking for Senator Doyle, we offer our sincerest condolences. I 
location from the town of Weathersfield in uh, the mayor district naked. So I will I will read it and uh, give it to Officer Marcus. It'll be time because the mayor still has to sign it. Police K-94 was obtained by the Weathersfield Police Department on August 20, 2014 and served in the patrol division K-9 unit during his career. Thor was known for his loyalty, dedication, and tenacity. On December 23, 2014, Police K-9 Thor and his handler, Police Patrol Officer Nuno Martins, completed the intensive 16-week K-9 training, graduating the Connecticut State Police 170th Patrol Dog Class. On April 7, 2015, Police K-9 Thor had a significant time when he located a burglary suspect during a trap hiding under a bench on a residence front porch in the same neighborhood. On July 7, 2015, Police K-9 Thor had a significant find when the Weatherspool Police officers responded to the motel, 2A motel on the Salatine Highway where a stabbing victim, where a stabbing had taken place. Police K-9 Thor, who was certified in evidence recovery, set out on the track of the suspect and alerted to the evidence he located. The force alerted to a knife that was used in the stabbing and helped recover a critical piece of evidence in a very serious crime. On July 13, 2015, Police K-94 had a significant find when Brothers of Police officers spotted a suspicious male in the vicinity of a Berlin Turnpike clothing store that had just been burglarized three times in the previous three months. The male took off running at the sight of the officer into the woods near the cemetery. K-94 and his handler responded and began to track of the mail. Police K-94 located the mail hiding in the woods. The mail was later tied into all three previous burglaries. On November 21st, K-94 had a significant fine. Well, actually, that's the one that I just read to you before, gave you the synopsis of it. Now, therefore, I, Paul Montaneri, because I'm not him, the man is the mayor of the town of Weathersfield, do state, that the police canine Thor has earned and justified and deserves the respect and appre appreciation of a grateful community for his two years of honorable public service until his death on November 22, 2016. So, uh, without further ado, we'll Our next speaker will be Officer Bridget Camara, who will read Canine Poem, Guardians of the Night. those who might wish to harm others. All I ask of you is your compassion, to care and touch your hands. It is for you that I will unselfishly give my life and spend my nights unrested. Although our days together may be marked by the passing of the seasons, know that each day by your side is my reward. My days are measured by the coming and going of your footsteps. I anticipate them at every opening of the door. You are the voice of caring when I am ill. You are the voice of authority when I've done wrong. Do not chastise me unduly, for I am your right arm, the sword at your side. I attempt to do only what you bid of me. I seek only to please you and remain in your favor. Together, you and I shall experience a bond only others like us will understand. When outsiders see us together, their envy will be measured by their disdain. I will quietly listen to you and pass no judgment nor will your spoken words be repeated. I will remain ever silent, ever vigilant, ever loyal. And when our time together is done and you move on in the world, remember me with kind thoughts and tales. For a time, we were unbeatable. Nothing passed among us undetected. If we should meet again on another street, I will gladly take up your fight. I 
of a police working dog. And together, we are guardians of the night. Sergeant Jenny Rivera, Weathersfield Police K-9 Unit Supervisor, will now present the United States flag to Officer Martins as a symbol of our appreciation for K-9 Thor's service to our community. All uniform personnel, attend hood. Nuno Martin will render his final salute to K-9 Force. Paul Bearers, please approach the door. Please rise. <laughs> Canine Thor will be carried to an awaiting vehicle where he will be taken to his final resting. Thank 
If you want to call out to outside, there will be a flyover. Thank you. This concludes today's ceremony. Thank you very much for coming.